Where the cows go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a few things to do to start this project. You know, I can't just buy something, use it right away. I gotta, I gotta modify it, make it my own. So we're gonna do some uh, pretty radical stuff right away. What I mean by radical is we're gonna dovetail the living hell out of the back of this. Probably dovetail the front of it, put a winch on the front of it, put these 37s I got for 200 bucks on the front of it. So uh, I'm gonna start tearing apart the bed and uh, taking, taking off what I need, deciding where I wanna cut the dovetail because we're gonna dovetail the original bed and we're just gonna save the skins on it. I think that's gonna give it a much cooler look than building a flatbed out of steel. Because, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but steel flatbeds on Chuggies are, you know, a dime a dozen, everyone does them, and you don't see many reusing the original skins and just working with what's there. And I think that'll be a really cool, unique look for this Dodge 1500. So yeah, I'm going to uh, get to breaking down this bed to where I want it and uh, deciding what I'm gonna plasma cut, because that's gonna be the fun part. A little, little bzz, bzz action going on in the back. So uh, let's get to it. As you can see, bed's off the truck. Figured that was the best way to do it. All I'm actually gonna do is take these outer skins off the very outside of the bed. Um, and like I said, I'm using a tailgate for a bench and I'm gonna use part of the bumper as uh, part of a bumper because it's already shaped. Don't have to redo the shaping. But these skins are gonna get tied into the bed via tube work where I'm gonna build tube support and leave this bed middle section open. I'm, I'm trying to save as much weight as possible. It's already a really heavy truck and uh, just using the skins and some simple tube work with uh, no fender should work well. This is all gonna get cleaned up. Lights are gonna go there, hopefully somehow. Gonna clean up those cuts and uh, shape it once the dovetail shape and tube work is in place, and then I'll shape the body, grind it down, and uh, so on. Let's go ahead and uh, finish this uh, other cutout up and uh, clean everything up and uh, get started on really building it. This garage is a uh, absolute pigsty, but uh, Here's how we're doing the dovetail. So this, a fair warning, this is just so it sits in place. There's gonna be tube work and substructure that comes in, ties everything together. In order to get it even, all I did was tack the tail in into the frame directly. That's a 15 inch piece of angle iron in the very back over there. Weld it directly to the old cab mounts and then to the skin. So uh, yeah, that's not going anywhere. But this is, this is just to hold the skin in place, keep it perfectly level. And then there's gonna be one and a half inch tube work that's gonna tie the whole bed together. And then it's gonna get a complete exo cage. But yes, there will be a 175 or 120 wall DOM emerald cage, exo cage around the whole thing, as well as bumpers. So I'm gonna burn the other side in exactly the same. Complete. Same thing on both sides. Really, really mean look. I, I absolutely dig it. I love it so much. Once those lights there, it's gonna look really, really snazzy. So I went ahead and put back in the fuel filler and uh, now I'm gonna start on the tube work. So I don't have a tube bender here. I've got like my pipe kinker that works for small things, like works enough, but it's not pretty. So I don't feel like adding a bunch of ugly kinks and bends this inch and a half. So instead, to 90s and you know different angles and use my tube notcher laying over there. Sorry, it's a mess, I'm working. And uh, do some straight 90s in the back, straight horizontal, and then a nice little cross in the front. Leave it all notched and minimize the amount of bins that I actually need to do. Let's get to getting this tube cut and notched and uh, welding it in and giving this bed a little bit more structure. So, I mean, it's holding, but uh, I don't want it to wobble. So let's get to it. Got the Dodge turned around, which uh, means that I finished the back. And I just didn't feel like showing you guys in the time lapse because it's mostly just paint and uh, final touches. But ground those down, a little rattle can action, you know, just covering up for now. It's gonna get painted uh, better eventually. I, uh, I tell myself, we'll see, <laughs> we will see. That's how the cage turned out, or the box I should say for the bed. 
I put the spare in the bed as well, just because I had it laying around and I wanted to find it a uh, home as soon as possible, you know, before I put the other, the other 37s on the actual truck. Yep, uh, wiring or the lights went right into the two rear harnesses with the help of a zip tie in the bottom. Um, they won't go anywhere. I used the spare tire carry, just flipped it upside down, locked it off, sacrificed a T12 Allen socket and uh, used that to lock down the spare tire, ratchet shot for extra safety. Seven pin harness as well, because uh, why not? So yeah, that's how it turned out. There's a little bit of an angle to the lights, but I think it just makes it look sad, which is uh, kind of cool to me. So who cares, right? <laughs> and then same thing on the other side, just paint and uh, you know how it is, just paint and covering it up. Nice little motivation, spare tire right there. And uh, yeah, really happy with it. Um, super happy with it, I should say. It's gonna look uh, pretty menacing with 37s, just clearing all right there. I think it'll look really, really cool. So uh, yeah. Before I uh, keep Googling at this, let's go uh, knock the front out, clearance the front, put that winch in the front, and, uh, you know, finish this uh, <laughs> buying <laughs> episode up on this 2001 Dodge 1500. All right, so got the bumper off on the welding table because I'm just going to build the winch onto the bumper separate and then throw the bumper back on the truck. I think that's the easiest way and safest way to do it. But yes, here's the plan. The plan is going to be to take off the plastic on the edge of the bumper up there and uh clearance the uh most of that door jam right there probably because uh 37s are gonna fit with uh, this lift whether they like to or not and uh install the winch and shut it and go test drive and uh, give it a little rip ski so let's uh let's just jump right into it i think that's the best way to do it So what I did was take most of the material out of this bottom section. That way it can bend this in easier. That's going to be just a base plate. It's all going to get gusseted, uh, obviously, because it's a winch, but that's going to get welded to the uh, winch plate. So I know it looks ugly right now, but that's the, uh, that's the gist of it. All right, got the bumper done. Uh, nothing special. Uh, just I went ahead and cut out the sheet metal to make a bigger opening folded the sheet metal down. That way the plate had a nice flat spot to rest on. Fully welded that sheet metal. I did two passes at each point because uh, it is in fact a winch. As you can see down there, sheet metal is just fully welded. I'll probably go in and do some plug welds in the holes I'm not using and then try and figure out the best way to, uh, you know, mount the winch. It's, it's, it's the plate's meant for it, so it should be super easy. And in, in order to give the structure to the winch, they're actually can, you know, pull 12,000 pounds without moving. I went ahead and used an extra mount in the ears of the bumper. There was an extra hole going through the ears of the bumper that's not used to mount. So I went ahead and just put a, a piece of one inch thick solid stock through both ends of the hole, as you can see in there, and uh, fully welded the outside of that, and then did triple passes welding uh, that to the winch plate. I think that will hold. I am not 100% sure, but I, I do think that will hold. And that's going to provide the structure or, or the you know the structure going back and forth for the winch at the end of, at the end of the day if it breaks i'll be taking this to jake's house anyways to do a roll cage and i'm probably going to end up mounting the winch on the roll cage so it's not really that important i just like to have it uh now so uh i think that'll hold for now and i think that'll do and i think that'll provide enough support to uh be able to pull the uh the dodge you know back and forth with the winch so we're gonna uh, move on to mounting the Badlands winch and uh, putting it in and wiring it up. And I think we're gonna go uh, chop some fenders after that and uh, make room for some tires. So let's get to it. Winch is installed and wired up. Sorry, I didn't really show much of it. There's how those welds tie in for the structure. Yep, I put the boxes right there. I just have it zip tied in. Like I said, this winch and this bumper is temporary until I put the exo cage on it. So, uh, you know, a good two hours of work to make it, but. Uh, at least it's on there now I can go have fun before I uh, do a permanent exo cage mount with it. So I did already clearance the back or the front tires, <laughs> a North Cal mod with a little uh, more chop as uh, as the hipsters say. So uh, that's how that looks. So uh, I'm going to get the jack under and put the uh, 37s on. Let's, uh, let's finish this one up. Go have fun.
right guys, went ahead and finished it up without uh, letting anyone see because I was just wiring the winch and doing some small stuff. Uh, as it turns out, the front tire is still rubbed, but uh, like you just saw, it still rips it pretty hard. It's just, uh, we're gonna have to uh, notch that a little more, which is uh, all part of the learning process. Dogs are at the river, about to have fun. Oh, J turn. But that's how it looks. It is, uh, it is definitely a cinder and uh, get ready for more because uh, <laughs> paid $3,000 for this and did like 24 hours worth of work and it's already a fucking ripper. So you know me, just uh, just wait to, wait to see what happens next with this one.